In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the login page for your system.io account, but also how to customize the set password and the reset password page. So there are three different pages. Let me show you what they are. So typically when one of your customers is trying to log into their course area or the membership, they see this page. Now, what happens is that they might not remember the passwords. They will click on forget password. When they do, they will end up on this page. Once they enter the email address, they will receive an email automatically from System.io and they would land on this page, which is the set password page. Now, how do you customize all of this to make it all matching your brand colors and all that stuff? That is what I'm gonna show you right now. So what you wanna do is hover over your profile picture on the top right, then you click on settings. Then you will scroll to the left and notice here on the left section, custom domains. You're gonna click on it. Then you will have your different custom domains that you have connected. I've got a whole bunch and you're gonna go to the one you want to edit. You're gonna click here on the three dots and click on settings. Now, don't just click on this, actually pay attention that you just hover over it and that's good enough. So you're gonna hover over it and then click on settings. Now you're gonna notice this edit login page. Now you're gonna see this button, restore to default login page if you've already made some changes. And if you click on that, it will basically revoke all your changes. So be careful about clicking that. Now you wanna click on edit login page and it will take you to this page where people are trying to log in and you can customize it. Now, where do you find the other pages? So if you look here under custom login, you will then see that this one, you will be able to choose the login page, the set password page, and the resetting page. So the resetting page, I've already done all the different customization. Now I'm gonna go to the set password and I'm gonna go through the same process of customizing all this. So I'm gonna click on the button. I'm going to click on the background color and I can then customize it exactly the way I want it. So now that I've made all the edits, for the custom login, the set password, and the resetting, and I'm happy with how it all looks. The next step of what to do, especially if you have multiple domains, is you're going to click on the section. Then you can save the section by hovering over here like this, or you could just click on the section and see this button right here. Now I'm going to call this password reset login template. Click on create. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to exit. And now I'm going to go to other pages that I have. So this one, this one that I did, I'm going to click here, click on settings, edit login page. And then I can go to blocks, my blocks, reset password login template. And then I'm going to delete this one. And now I've got the template the way I want it. Now notice that the template here is set up so I need to make sure that it's also using Google fonts. So I gotta go and set up the settings so the font changes to my brand colors. The other thing that I need to do is you see here on the background color, I need to click here, click here, go back to my brand colors, click on the color that I want and change the background. So the background of the page changes as well. And then to remove this branding, I'm gonna click on settings, scroll down, delete, save, done, okay? Now I'm going to hover over here to show you custom login, set password exactly the way I want it, resetting the way I want it, and now that's all done. So I'm gonna save, exit, and then I can go to the next one. So let's go to this one, go to the login page. I can click on blocks, my blocks, reset, change the settings, make this pop-ins, scroll down, go to the background color, change it to what it was, delete the, the branding, hit save, oh, and then I gotta delete this top one. Now notice that this is going to, this is the exact correct link and you wanna keep it that way. You don't wanna touch that because this is going to be the exact one, right one. Click on save and now that's done as well. Then I'm gonna to go to the next one, the next one, and the next one. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of domains, but that's how you do it. So hope you get value from this tutorial and go ahead and customize your own login page and let me know how it goes. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used system or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. 
that will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive, and when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System I.O., definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.